So you smear your little boy, okay, Samson. Let me tell you two ones. The wicked are not prepared for this. They are never prepared for what is absolutely, you know, coming and what is about to come upon them. You know, let me be real with you. A lot of people are so wicked within. They are so wicked that they don't want you to eat the fruit of your labor. They are so wicked to the point that they don't want you just to be whom you always dream to be. Not that you are stopping them from not being whom they desire or they wished or they hope to be, but they are just hating you for the sake of the fact that they are unhappy with whom you are. They are just envious of you, jealous of you, wickedness within them have now grown to the point that they don't just want to hear anything good about you. But they never believe that a day like this will come. That what they have been sowing for long we do what will be permitted to them. You know, if you have encountered like, you know, you have gone to a point where you see a storm, you have seen the, the, the ocean, you got to understand that there is a season where the ocean vomit what they have automatically do what, swallowed. So likewise, so a lot of people who have did you wrong, who have, you know, did all kinds of stuff for long, who have been plotting, who have been thinking they are powerful, they are this, majority of them never expect what is already on the way to them or what is already on them, what is already upon them. A lot of people today who are facing a huge judgment, as I'm telling you, they never believe that one day, a day like this, we come. They never believe that a day will come in their life where they will be regretting all that they have done, all that they have done, what they plotted, what they have done to others. They never. So it is something so good, unbelievable to a Lord because all that they meant for evil is absolutely what God is using to frustrate them is absolutely what God is using to do or to humiliate. So it is something you as an individual, as a choosing, as a person, you need to know that a lot of your enemies, the wicked ones within, the evil ones within, majority of them thought what they have done in the past will no longer come back to them. So people have did it in 10 years, 20 years, they forget it. But karma cannot forget the record. Karma cannot forget the, what the record, what they did, what they have done. That is why the Bible says the wicked will not go unpunished. The Bible has made it clear. You know, I can remember years back where, you know, there was a man that I met on my way. Which I know. So, as so we were, you know, people do used to call this man rich, this, this, you know, all those stuff. But when this man, when karma hit this man, hey God, it's so terrible. That is why I made up my mind never to come to a point of hurting people. Never to come to a point of like making people to regret why they are in this world because only ignorant people will think that God is not watching and God have no package for all that they have done. But it will shock them because it will be too late for them to repent from their evil ways. Because trust me, a lot of wicked people have no idea the danger that is coming upon them. And many are regretting it. Many are pretending to be okay. 
But the truth is that they are not okay because it does not matter whom you call yourself. It does not matter the kind name you bear. It does not matter whom you try to pretend to look like. It does not matter how you try to fake it. You can't fake to look too good for too long. You can't fake to be living well for too long. You can't fake to be okay for too long. You can't fake to occupy where you are not occupied for too long. You, are, you can't fake to be living well for too long. There is a season. There is a time. So that is why you should understand that the wicked ones, they have no idea how much evil that is already on their way. That is why your mockers may mock now, but what they will go through, what they will see within you, what will come upon them will be something that they will terrify to live. You're not blessed.